I usually would make a list to make sure I don't overbuy and I just buy the things that are needed because I don't want her to think that money grows on trees. So I budget and hopefully she'll learn to do the same thing as she goes older. There were always summer sales and that's when I used to get the shoes. A half size larger, very important because they seem to grow terribly in the summer and uniforms. Whenever I shop I look for school uniform throughout the year and always buy a head so if there's a size two years older I'll buy it maybe put the hems up and then can lower the hems when the fits start. If it's black or grey, which most of them are, you can get them in supermarkets. You don't always have to go to the proper school shops. And what a lot of schools are doing now, when children leave, they're putting like a shop for, I know they are second hand, but you can buy them second hand from the shop, which is a lot, lot cheaper. Looking online or looking through all, you know, there's all those superstore type shops, they have lots of different things, so it's, sometimes it's just finding who's got the best deal. The biggest expense is the actual school uniform jumpers for each school. They probably cost between 10 to 15 pounds for one jumper. The biggest expense is the, the shoes. So I think footwear is the biggest Do you know what? one true. to watch out for. I didn't realise there's a lot more sportswear to buy. For everything that's different, rugby and hockey and everything, then it has to be the colour of that they tell you, so it's a specific shop you can, so you can't go anywhere and buy it unless it's that shop. Things like school, school dinner costs, you kind of forget that you have to pay for that when they go back. When my children were at school, technology hadn't hit us, but now with the grandchildren, I can see with their smartphones and all the technical things, and everything is about 500 pounds and they have to have one because their friends have one.